Hello, my fellow sharks, and welcome to Maple Story's On Air Patch. We are currently in the first part of the patch known as Glimpse of Joy, and as promised, I'll be detailing changes that have impacted Thunderbreaker. As I am a reboot player, I will also be covering some of the major changes made to that server in particular. I wanted to first get all of the reboot stuff out of the way, and what better way to start than with the reboot passive change? Reboot's passive originally granted 1% damage for every two levels you had. This was a nice passive to have in place of scrolling and bonus potential that main servers had, but it came with the side effect of oversaturating our pool of damage and boss damage. This drastically changed how people would optimize their WSE at the endgame due to this. So, to alleviate this, Reboot has now removed the damage percent passive and instead giving us a final damage percent passive, which is based on the level range your character is in. For most late and end game players, this will be 30% or more final damage gained against bosses. So, suffice to say, everyone got handed a massive amount of damage. And since everyone got this multiplier, Thunderbreaker is still weak in comparison to other similarly funded classes even though Thunderbreaker is now doing damage. The next change is another reboot change. Reboot can now gain an additional 10% final damage from being 10 levels above the target enemy. Prior to this patch, you could only gain 10% final damage from being 5 levels over said enemy. Now, you can gain 20% final damage for being 10 levels over. This scales linearly at 2% final damage per level over the target enemy. So now, Onto the generic quality of life improvement. Pets now have the ability to auto buff two skills per pet. This totals to six skills that you'll never have to manually cast again. And in conjunction with the next change to Thunderbreaker's kit, this means that you'll realistically only have two or three buffs with 100% uptime that you'll manually cast. So, starting on detailing Thunderbreaker's specific changes, first and most importantly, Lightning Elemental is now a toggle skill. You cannot gain lightning stacks without this skill toggled on, so ensure you have it on when doing anything. You cannot use Shark Torpedo or Typhoon without stacks, so it's absolutely imperative that you remember to toggle this skill on every time you log in. And now that Lightning Elemental is a toggle, this also frees an auto buff slot as well on our pets. For me personally, I'm auto buffing Mihail Link, Arc Charger, Weapon Booster, Speed Infusion, Combat Orders, and Sharp Eyes. This leads me to manually cast Holy Symbol, Roll of the Dice, Advanced Blessing, and Maple Warrior. And finally, the only other notable change that was made to Thunderbreaker's kit in this patch is the what seems to be the most massive multi-strike buff we've gotten yet. At level 25, multi-strike's linked attacks went from 750% to 1000%, which is a 33% final damage increase. The lightning attacks increased from 1000% to 1,100%, which is a 10% final damage increase. The final link increased from 1,200 to 1,400, which is roughly 16% more final damage. And finally, the large lightning attack summoned at the end of the skill increased from 1,450% to 1,500%, which is roughly 3% more final damage. And unfortunately, I am unable to do a direct one-to-one -one comparison of the skill pre-patch and post-patch due to Reboot's passive change, but on paper, this skill got a massive buff. Other than the mentioned changes, Thunderbreaker received two bug fixes relating to Lightning Elemental. One states that Lightning Elemental would toggle off if you were to cancel your Lightning Stacks and the other states that lightning stacks did not disappear when the duration was over. I understand the first bug fix completely, but the second one seems to imply that if your lightning elemental buff ran out, your lightning stacks did not. This is redundant at this point as lightning elemental no longer has a set duration since it's a toggle, so I'm unsure of what they mean to imply as this could very well mean that after the stacks expired, the benefits from the stacks did not disappear, but I doubt that's what they meant since that's not how the stacks ever functioned. I think this is just to mean if you toggle off Lightning Elemental, you lose your stacks, which is makes perfect sense. So with all that said, that is the entirety of the patch. Thunderbreaker is not much stronger, and you will not feel much stronger in main servers from what I have gathered. But in Reboot, due to the final damage passive change, it is absolutely a glow up. Obviously, try to keep in mind that you should not be comparing yourself to other classes because you'll just start to feel even worse about yourself, but 
I'm starting to do damage. I was able to finish my liberation quests ridiculously easy. There is no content that is impossible, and there's no content that is really a struggle if you put in the effort now. Thunderbreaker is in a good spot in reboot only due to the final damage change. It's not because the class is good, inherently good. I have a very mixed feelings about this, as you can tell, but it is what it is. And I will be back next time there are substantial changes to Thunderbreaker. This has been Sniz, and I'll see you friends later.